hey guys how are you doing i hope you're all doing well welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this is cooking with bab ramadani if you're new here karib sana you're so much welcome we love visitors remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post a new video and you'll be part of this wonderful family so guys today we are going to prepare bajia yes so if you want to learn how to prepare the most delicious fluffy and crispy bajias you better stay tuned to make the bajias you'll need some potatoes, dania, flour, salt, some food coloring in the color a yellow, some water, and some ground garlic. So let's get started. So we are going to start by slicing our potatoes and we are going to slice them into thin round pieces. our pieces so I'm just going to wash this to remove all the excess starch and our potatoes are ready so we're just going to quickly So what you're going to do next is you're going to start mixing or making the paste that you're going to dip our potatoes. So I'm going to start by adding our flour. I want to give the specific measurements because uh, it depends with the amount of bajia you're going to prepare and the amount of potatoes you have. So you add some salt to taste and then some food coloring you can add it uh, a small amount at a time and then after you mix with water you will know if that color is good enough and then you add your garlic paste and then your dania And then you mix them together before adding the water oopsie and then you start adding your water gradually And then we want our paste to be not so light and not so thick. Yeah, that's why we are adding our water gradually. And also adding the water gradually will help you avoid having the bumps that come when you working with flour. And remember you can always store the paste if it remains in the refrigerator. Yeah, we have a very good paste there and a very good color. If you want the color to be darker, you can always add more food color, but this color is good for me. So next we're going to 
dip our potatoes inside i prefer adding all of them and then we'll pick each as we're adding to our oil and on that note let's start heating our cooking oil So we're going to let our oil heat till it is very hot at about 350 degrees if you have a kitchen thermometer. If not, we're going to use our muiko to test if the oil is hot enough. So guys, it's a few minutes past and we're going to check if our oil is hot enough. And to do that, I'm going to use a muiko and just dip it in. If it's hot enough, it's supposed to form bubbles as it is doing right now, meaning our oil is hot enough for deep frying. So we are going to start making our veggies. So we are going to dip them one by one and to do that I am going to use my hands which are very clean to be very easy to use your hand because you will be able to dip them one by one. guys don't overcrowd your pan as I always tell you it will reduce the temperature of the oil I think that's good enough so I'm going to just turn the ones I added first and the gears take very little time to cook like I'm sure the ones I added first are ready. So we're going to line our plates with a serviette to drain the excess oil from the gears. The garlic gives them a very, very nice smell. And our first batch is ready. Then we're going to add our second and probably last round. 
and as you can see the oil is not hot enough so we're going to give the oil one minute to heat up and then we continue making the vajiers so our oil is hot now So this paste I'm going to store it in the fridge and probably use it anytime I want to make badges, but don't store it for long. So guys, our badges are ready. It looks whole nice. So guys, here are our bajiyas. They look so yummy. They're so crunchy on the outside and so fluffy on the inside. And I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. So that's it for this video, guys. I've enjoyed shooting this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and you've learned how to prepare the most delicious bajiyas in town. And you'll try this recipe and tell me how it goes on all my social media platforms on Instagram at Cooking with Barbara Mudoni and at Barbara underscore Mudoni and on Facebook at Cooking with Barbara Mudoni. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also to subscribe if you're not. Until next time, bye.